this is Jay bringing you a Sunday Madden video from Straight Smoke Gaming. And in this Sunday Madden video, we're going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking and why I feel it needs to be added into Madden 22. Um, yeah, it's going to help tremendously balance the playgrounds for everyone, honestly. The sweats will be going up against the sweats. The casual players will be going up against casual players. Everyone will be learning. Everyone will be fair. No one's getting blown out. It's going to be all around a dogfight for everyone. Like... Uh, in the last Madden video we did, there was a giveaway. This is also going to have another giveaway. This is part two of the giveaway. I think there's going to be th a third or maybe fourth part two. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we're going to be giving away a Madden 22 points. So make sure to comment the answer to the Madden trivia question that will be later in the video uh, to enter that giveaway. It's for PS4 or Xbox. And yeah, just make sure to send that to our YouTube, which will be showing up at the end of the or our Instagram, which will be at the end of the video. Here is my base team, so you know what I'm working with here. It's only an 86, nothing special. I was grinding it, and then I stopped. So that's why if you look and you're like, man, why does this guy have some high cards and then not high cards? Yeah, so that's why. My best cards are a 94 and then two 93s. So yeah, just so you know what I'm going to be going up against compared to what I have. It's honestly pretty crazy. Blew my mind. I didn't thought think that it was this bad, but apparently it is. So here we're looking... These are the cards I went up against. I played eight games, and in those eight games, some of the matchups were just crazy stupid to me. I won one of them out of the eight, and I just could not believe why I was playing some of these people. These people have 99 cards, and I still have 80s and like low 80s in my lineup. Why am I playing them? So, yeah, like I said, I won one of the seven games, which is mind-blowing that should not happen make it more balanced i did not have fun in this time i was tired of losing but i messaged those eight people that i played to ask them what their overalls were only three of them responded but i feel like that was still good enough for me to get a point across that i wanted to, or get the point across that i wanted to prove in those three games nine three of them were 98s and i'm an 86 like that's 12 overalls higher than my base team or the team I'm working with. Why am I playing them? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. So here in the video, I'm showing you how some of these teams picked me apart. So yeah, actually it was most of them. Seven of them picked me apart out of the eight. And it's just crazy how someone who's averaging 20 yards a carry and mine's only averaging three. Why am I playing them? They're obviously much better than me. How am I learning? How is that fair? How is that fun for me at all? It wasn't fun at all. Uh, I was the only one to allow a sack. That's not fun. Now here I'm going to be showing how it's not just not everyone who has good cards is good because this was the one guy I beat. His Aaron Rodgers, I think, was either a 98 or 99 pretty good like really good card better than any of mine but he still threw six interceptions and i maybe half or over half him turned into pick sixes he matched up well with me defensively just offensively throwing a lot of stevies turned into a lot of pick sixes so i'm not saying that everyone who has high cards is good and they need to punish all of them i'm just saying like i want it to be more fair and one way you can do it is i'm gonna be showing you right now so here is the online hub for Madden. I'll also be showing you NHL's online hub because that's both EA games. You, I think if you add some of the things that NHL has into Madden on the online, just online head to head or mutt head to head, it's going to help the game tremendously, balance it more, make it more fun. Now, NHL is not head to, or it's not skill based, but they have some of the, like, they have some of the groundwork laid to make it that and they could easily make it more fair for everyone. And I'll be showing you like what way the ways I think they're already like set up for that and they just got to put in the little bit of extra work to add that into Madden and make it compatible for both ways and all that. So if you understand what I'm saying, yeah. But here I'm talking about see how it says record and it shows my online record and it has a competitive ranking. If you add those into Mutt and Head to Head on on Madden, those would make it to where there's a little bit of buffer room. So like I had, I have written down here a three to five win buffer room or a fifty to seventy five point competitive rank buffer, and that's how they determine who you play. Like they have to be somewhat close to you in record or competitive rank to play you, 
And all around, that would just bring back more people who aren't sweats, casual players like me. As you can see, my thing was only an 86. My team was only an 86. I'm not a sweat. I'm a casual player. I play to have fun. Sometimes I want to have fun on mat, on mutt. Sometimes I want to have fun on franchise. Sometimes I want to have fun online. And I feel like you, they're in a way punishing those guys who aren't Madden sweats and don't only play that game, don't only grind that game by not having that feature in the game. You add that feature, you're going to bring back so many more people and it's going to be all around more of a balanced playing field for everyone. Everyone have more fun. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you I hope you liked it, um, like I said, or I don't know if I said this or not, but it's going to be a controversial video. You're either going to agree with me or you're not. So Go ahead and comment down what you think, if you agree with me, if you don't. And while well, I'm commenting, and now I'm going to give you the Madden trivia question so you can comment for the giveaway. Um, the question is, who was the last defensive player to be featured on a Madden cover? So yeah, if you know that answer, go ahead and comment or, or you think you know the answer. I will go ahead and be replying to those ones that got it right or got it wrong, telling you if you made it in, if you didn't. If you didn't, just reply to my comment. Tell me who you, your second guess is or whatever because all you got to do is tell me the right name and you got it right. That's all That's all you got to do. Pretty simple. It's going to be for Xbox or PS4. Put all the names that got into it right into a generator. Whoever the generator picks, that's who wins. So, yeah, hopefully you guys, hopefully one of you guys win. Or hopefully one of you guys comment because we enjoy doing these giveaways for you guys. Thanking you guys for all your support from us. Getting us up to a thousand subs. Getting us all the views that you do. So yeah, we really enjoy that from you guys. And we're now this is our way of giving it back to you. So right now we're giving back to the Madden players. We're giving back to the GTA players right now with a giveaway. I'll link that down in the description. And I think we're going to be giving back to the Red Dead players at some point. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when we're doing that giveaway, but I think it's coming up. We are, Me and Orb are also looking into doing a straight smoke fantasy football league. So if that's something you'd be interested in doing, go ahead and comment. It would be me, OV, and Orb as three of the teams. And then the other nine would just be straight smoke sub subscribers who like football. So yeah, make sure to comment down below if you want to do that. Because that's something we'd be interested in doing for you guys. Like that says, if you liked it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and sub. That helps us a lot. And remember to go back and comment uh, the winner or comment the answer and show us on Instagram that it was you so we can add you in.